Hello, hi, this is Uncle T Boxing and I'm here with a couple of elite boxers. I'm actually privileged to be with this um, GB lot. Well, they've joined the GB. Some of them, I don't know, well, they're going to have to introduce themselves. Here's a guy, what's your name again? Harris Akbar. Harris Akbar, you're 69 kilo world away, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and here we've got Lewis. Lewis Williams, yeah. Lewis Williams, and, and that's a heavyweight, cruiserweight as a pro. Well, in the yeah. pro ranks, it's cruiserweight because you're under 91 kg, is that right? That's right. Okay. Now, this, uh, today's been the quarterfinals, and both of you have just had your fight, fight respectively, and to make it to the semi-finals. Um, I'm glad to say that both of you won what you expected to win, part of the GB setup and things like that. Well, you re you'd be a disappointment if you didn't go through the quarterfinals, wouldn't that be? So, how did you find your bout? Well, I found that myself a bit rusty, but as I got in there, I started to catch him with a lot more shots. Shots, yeah. Yeah, I won, won the bout on the United States. He was a yeah. good kid, yeah. Yeah, it, was, it seems like a... He, yeah, he, yeah. yeah, well, I saw the bout myself, and um, exactly what you've just said is what happened. Um, but even in the first round, I still thought you had it. Yeah. Um, you, you showed your aggression straight away. As soon as you put his head down, you just pull your elbow around him just to let him know that, listen... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's not going to be an easy fight. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's good. And, and there was, um, you won unanimously, right, as well? Yeah, man. He's a, he's a good kid that I know. His name is um, Jamie, Jamie Smith. I actually yeah. know him. I boxed with him before. Um, we went to um, Guernsey one time. He's a, quite okay. of a good boxer. He's coming up. And um, I spoke to him, and he, he, he felt that you, you've got a good jab. You couldn't get past your jab. Um, is that what they've been te teaching you a lot in the GB? jab's always been the best asset. Really? It's always there, but... Um, GB's just make it come on here better, make me use it a lot more. Okay. Um, just use my assets, isn't it? Okay, is this, yeah. the is this the first time you've done the nationals? As a second time as a senior. Senior. First, first time to the semis. Okay, and what have you won as an amateur? As an amateur, I've won multiple Midlands bouts. Yeah. Um, in different weight categories. Yeah. Um, the national bout, I held that. Um, wow. CYPs, uh, Harry Gay Box Cup twice. Wow. Um, well, what, yeah, I think I remember you. What well, you fought last year, the um, the, the box cup, right? Yeah. You fought a guy called um, Natty. Is it? Natty, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, I, I remember you. A few times. You fought him a few times. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's another good kid. I watched him box at the um, under twenties novices, yeah. and he won that quite. Like I just kept on coming up with him, and the one that we both made it to the finals. So I was thinking. When you lot fought, I thought he was going to beat you, but when you won, I was like, who's this young kid? How old are you anyway, Lewis? 19. 19, 19. wow. Yeah. That's really good. So you're part of the GB setup. Who's the guy number one right now? He's just for the Commonwealth. Chevron Clark. Chevron Clark. Yeah. So is that the guy you're going to be trying to chase That's for the, the yeah, Tokyo, Tokyo 2020? Yeah. Well, all the best with that, my Thank mate. Much, man. And then you, um, the number one right now is um, a geezer called Pat McCormack, right? Yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a good kid though, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, I mean, he's world number two, but he's, li he's literally the best. He's the, yeah, okay. So you're, you're just trying to work your way up the yeah. rankings as well. Yeah, There's okay. a few other good lot at 69 kg, right? There's a guy called Carfil, I think Cyrus Patterson. Yeah. Or probably you spar all them lot. Yeah, and I mean, sparring them, they're just, you know, just like, they're above average kids. Yes. And sparring them is just bringing me on and everything. Oh. Especially with Papa Paul Mark and uh, Cyrus and Carl as well. Wow. So we're just bringing knowledge to the table. Okay, that's that's very good. You're getting some good experience. And you're only just 19 as well. Yeah. A couple of your yeah. guys. I know I'm going to be following you guys in the next 10 years. When you're Tom Pro, probably sign with Eddie Earn or Frank Brown. We'd say Eddie Earn for now, really, because he's the best <laughs> right now. But we'll see. Well, just, just a quick interview, guys, because um, what I want to do is have another one, if you do win the Nationals. But last year, Harris, what happened in the Nationals? Tell me. You won it. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't, they couldn't win the national yeah. champion. Really? Yeah. Wow. So you try to do two times, yeah? Yeah. Won it two 18 times. Also, Eighteen. Yeah. You know what? That's 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 beautiful. And um, I, I spoke to your dad earlier on. You told me that when you first started boxing, when you had your first few bouts, you wasn't like the actual best. Really, you lost quite a few fights. Yeah, I think in my first ten, I lost six, got stopped twice. Wow. So, now I'm at 121 and won 107 of them. So 107 of them? Yeah. So you know what, that's the stuff. You're, you're going to inspire the next generation, even though you are the generation right now. <laughs> I mean, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful story. You lose a few, and you, what you do, you pick your head up, and now you're yeah. one of the best in the country. It's hard work and dedication. You, you know what, let me just scrim this. Let me just look at that. GB boxing. <laughs>
You know what? I'm going to tell you this now. Um, I'm not. I'm a professional now. I'm not an amateur anymore. But one of my regrets is never having to wear a tracksuit with that. That is just. That is a badge of honor right there. And guys, with full respect for that. At the age of 19, both of you, a pair of you, to have a GB tracksuit, you can have that forever. And even as a pro, when you start doing your running, you was wrong with that GB that I was part of that setup. But all the best for, for tomorrow and um, hopefully Sunday in the finals of your call. All right? Thanks for having me. Sweet. This is Uncle Tio signing out. Yeah, respect. Good.